Hey guys, I'm with my friend and we just went to the magic castle. <laughs> Abracadabra. Hey everybody, I'm Jax Wendell and today we are going to be talking about the history behind the famous magic castle in California. Super elite, hard to get into castle. <laughs> not heard about this infamous location, I'm here to spill all the details. I personally had never heard of it before, but I came here to visit a friend and I'm here actually in this really awesome house. My friend was like, I can get us in to this incredible place called the Magic Castle and you can only get in if you know a magician or if you pay like a really expensive um, membership fee. So he knew a magician, so we were able to get in and there were lots of like conspiracies about like what happens in the magic castle because you're like not allowed to have a phone because you're not allowed to take pictures in the magic castle. It was really, really just great magic. Just great magic. The magic castle is a clubhouse for magicians and magic enthusiasts. And basically it's like a real life Hogwarts. When you go into this place, it's like you first you go through a bookshelf you have to say open sesame and the door open or the bookshelf slides open and you go in and you kind of feel a little claustrophobic you just go down all these stairs up these stairs down these stairs up these stairs down these stairs and like the rooms sometimes get really small and there's just magicians everywhere putting on shows so you can just like choose a table stay as long as you want and then move on to the next and then there's like bars everywhere so you can refresh your drink and there's also a dinner dinner club um so you're supposed to like eat beforehand it opened january 2nd 1963 and is located in the hollywood district of los angeles california and bills itself as the most unusual private club in the world i would you feel like you're like a part of the illuminati because you know it's like so hard to get into this place is scary, honestly. I felt like I was on some Illuminati shit when I went there. <laughs> and it just feels like there's a lot of weirdness that's a part of it. You know Johnny Carson? He was also a magician. There's like a whole shrine of him. It's really <laughs> odd. The Magic Castle is said to be the most secret club in all of Hollywood and features some of the best magicians in the entire world. I would like to go again, so I befriended a magician. So the craziest thing that I saw, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on here, but it is what it is. They're just like making doves like here out of thin air. How was it for you? Oh, I like the part where he shoved a nail up my nose and made it disappear <laughs> into my brain. <laughs> that brain. was so... Maybe I'll Some would say that he nailed it. So you are supposed to wear a cocktail dress or an evening gown and all men have to wear suit and tie. So it's really fun to get super dressed up. That's also why I feel like the like eliteness of it feels amplified just because everyone is like way dressed up. To become a regular member, one must first be actively practicing or involved with magic as a career or a hobby and audition before the Academy's membership reviewing committee. There's currently only 2,500 members in the entire academy today. Um, I saw no female magicians, so females out there, you need to really get on that Magic Castle grind. There is a room inside of the Magic Castle that holds every single magic trick and spell ever recorded in their text. The only people that are allowed inside this library room are high-ranking magicians that have a star pin given to them by the Magic Castle. The castle is reportedly haunted, by the way. There is a Houdini seance room 
where guests are able to make contact with the spirit world. So yeah, I definitely felt that vibe. It felt almost evil. Like I had trouble breathing when I was there. I like definitely felt like it was haunted and I kind of wanted to turn around the second, you know, I got in there and then we just kind of like started going down staircases, up staircases, down staircases and small rooms and up staircases. Blah, blah, blah. It's like really dope once you get in there and you start seeing the tricks happening, but there's definitely an air of like serious hauntings kind of like I, I would say like just spookiness almost evilness um that's just like the vibe I was getting in the haunted cellar people have reported seeing a young girl wandering in the halls oh and by the way there is a lot of deaths in this castle including a magician that committed suicide who is said to be possessed before doing it so I can definitely see you know it, it felt like a place where people could really indulge in their like spooky side. One of the creepiest stories that have come in this castle is when current medium Misty Lee was connecting 10 guests to the spirits. She said that she saw a big dark figure behind one of the guests. She thought it was just a staff member messing with them but afterwards the staff was locked outside the room so the guests said that the mysterious dark figure had been following him for his entire life. That's really spooky. To close this out, just know that this castle holds no bar. It is said to have killed its original owner where he suffered a stroke in the Houdini seance room. His wife took over for him and she died five years later in the same exact room. Holy sh I did not know that. Now I know that and now I feel like my creepy feelings about that place are um, confirmed. And uh, I don't know if they're like portals in there or whatever, but it was definitely spooky. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, like, I feel like, I mean, it's after Thanksgiving now, it's Christmas time and I feel like I'm still stuck in the Halloween mood, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I feel like haunted stories, ghost stories, and um, spooky stories are always good, um, but since I just went to this castle, I wanted to share my experience and uh, let you know what I thought about it. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video, nonetheless, with all this interesting information and some of my inside scoop, having been in this super elite, hard to get into castle. Um, don't forget, I'm on OnlyFans, OnlyFans.com slash girl. Please DM me. I have lots of wild, exciting content. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at girl. And I'm also a photographer and stylist at Body Vineyard. And don't forget, I'm Shy Sword Girl, and don't be a witch. I'm Shy Sword Girl. I'm Shy Sword Girl. I'm Shy Sword Girl, and don't be a witch. Don't be a witch. Don't be a witch.